The Department of Justice is one with the Marcos administration in its decision to not rejoin the International Criminal Court, especially with the international body expressing intent to continue with the probe despite the efforts being made by the Philippines to investigate the allegations. Gillian Geronimo has more. The Department of Justice supports the decision of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. to not rejoin the International Criminal Court. Justice Undersecretary Jesse Andras said the country does not need the help of the ICC as it already has a functioning justice system. The government is in place and in control. So that is what we believe in and that is what excludes the ICC from exercising its powers over us. Our institutions are intact and working. Last June, ICC Prosecutor Karim Khan officially requested the pre-trial Chamber 1 to resume the investigation into the alleged crimes against humanity committed during the drug war of the Duterte administration. The ICC asked for the victim's comments and gave the Philippine government until September 8 to respond to Prosecutor Khan. Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin Remulia said they will still engage with the ICC and give it any information it would request. He also assured that the DOJ drug war panel will continue its review of drug war killings. To ensure their transparency, Remulia said they are willing to share files and findings with the Commission on Human Rights should the agency request it. When asked if the DOJ is ready to ask the question whether President Rodrigo Duterte is involved in the drug war killings, Remulia said, Of the 52 drug war cases reviewed by the DOJ, six were dismissed due to acquittal and lack of witnesses, leads, and foul play, while seven are subject to case buildup. Some of the dismissed cases were also because the families no longer wanted to pursue hearings. Julian Geronimo for The Nation.